This is so sweet. I just talked about the brand new Jennifer Lopez movie. Now it's time for the brand new Ben Affleck movie. What's up, Flick fans? Welcome back to my channel, Hypnotic, starring Ben Affleck, directed by Robert Rodriguez. Did you know this was coming out this weekend? Because if it wasn't my job, I wouldn't have known. Let's talk about it. Determined to find his missing daughter, Austin Detective Danny Rourke finds himself spiraling down a rabbit hole investigating a series of reality-bending crimes where he will ultimately call and question his most basic assumptions about everything and everyone in his world. Aided by a psychic, they're pursuing the culprit, the one man he believes holds the key to finding this missing girl, only to discover that this is more than he ever bargained for. This movie's rated R for violence. That's all it says. Just violence. Nothing more. You have Jackie Earl Haley, uh, J.D. Pardo, Alice Braga is kind of that mysterious character that aids Daniel in his quest to figure out what the heck happened with his daughter and who is this mysterious figure played by William Fickner uh, that is following us, but he's also the guy that we're following? What's going on here? It's confusing. I am so confused. Let's make some comparisons, because I'm sure no one else is going to do that in their review. The first one is Inception. Feels like it's trying to be a well-thought-out Christopher Nolan movie. Uh, there's even a photo of this film where he's holding up a photo. A photo of a photo. Inception. That looks like the poster to Memento. And then you have this David Fincher comparison. You could say it's like a seven, but a more sci-fi heavy seven. Way less grounded because there are these hypnotists at play. And it's no mystery at the beginning. They make it very obvious and evident to our main characters that, hey, this is what's happening, even though they're still trying to explain to us what's happening. There is so much exposition in this movie to the point to where it got so overly frustrating, but then at a point it got funny. So I started out pissed off, but then I started to chuckle as we were going, so I think that made the experience better. But uh, but yeah, they are controlling what our characters see and do. And so you will get these sequences, and I say Inception, uh, literally a mind-bending sequence where the ground is folding on top of We've seen it multiple times. We saw it more recently in Spider-Man No Way Home. Now, the visuals in this film are not on the level of something like even Inception from 2010, right? It looks a lot cheaper. It looks less good. But you do have Robert Rodriguez behind the camera. So even though it looks kind of cheesy and even though the story is all over the place, there will be some cool sequences in this movie, right? When you have the hypnotist hypnotizing and he turns people on each other. So, you know, two guys with guns, they'll be pointing the guns at Ben Affleck and then he's like, turn around and shoot each other and then they'll turn around and shoot each other that's pretty cool he doesn't sound like that and so that starts to happen at the beginning and ben affleck's like whoa hey whoa i'm ben affleck uh, this is a problem this is weird what's going on here this is a world that i've never opened myself up to but as we go further down this path of trying to figure out okay what actually happened with my daughter where is she who took her where are they but is there more at play and then we start to figure out there's not just a little more there, there's a lot more. I don't want to spoil anything. Um, this film is trying to be complex, but it comes across as convoluted. It introduces so many ideas to the degree of insanity at a point, right? The concept is cool. I think of a movie like Now You See Me, and they're using magic to fight each other, and that's not really the case here. It's just the hypnotizing aspect, but that is pretty cool. But then you find out that there's more to one of the characters, and then you find out that there's more to the story, and then you find out that things aren't real that we thought were real in the first place, and then you find out that... All right, I get it! So on and so forth, and there's a lot of reveals, and I'm not going to say all of them were obvious, so this movie is not predictable. But sometimes unpredictability does not make something good. Sometimes it makes it stupid. And this movie got stupid real quick. Yeah. It's not dumb to the degree of not being able to enjoy it, but I feel like I feel the way about this movie that a lot of people felt about Tenet. I look on Twitter and people hated Tenet. I enjoyed Tenet, but, you know, a lot of the complaints were, oh, there's way too much going on to the degree of confusion, and I don't really know why this is happening. I don't know why this character feels this way. I'm not sure uh, what's going on here. And I felt that way about this wannabe Nolan picture. I felt that it was just trying to do too much and so many reveals to the point to where you start to get away from what makes certain sequences good and the idea of him you know loving his daughter so much i mean obviously he's gonna love his daughter that that's 
Yeah. But he's like, I'm going to do what it takes to go find her. And then he starts to figure out that, you know, things are going this direction, this direction, and this direction. And you start to lose what the focal point was in the beginning when that simplicity was actually working for me at the beginning. And some of those sequences where, you know, people believe something, so they'll walk out in the middle of the street. And so you're distracting from this bank robbery. And that was actually pretty cool. And I'm not going to say I was on board with this movie at the beginning because I'm thinking to myself, okay, where is this going? But I was intrigued, and I'll give the film that for at least the first act. But when we get into that second act, and, and you know, meanwhile, cool sequences are happening on screen, just because you give us something that's visually cool, even though we've seen this before, uh, doesn't mean it has the narrative significance to it. And as this movie got more ridiculous, my, I'm not going to say my enjoyment, but my enthusiasm for the plot lessened and lessened to the point to where I just kind of, I didn't check out fully, but I'm just like, there's so much going on. It's getting ridiculous. Boo! Alice Brock is pretty good. William Fickner is menacing. Jackie Earl Haley doesn't have a lot to do, and Ben Affleck is fine. I really like Ben Affleck. I mean a lot, but in this movie, I mean, you could make a case that he was sleepwalking, but the title is hypnotic, so maybe he was hypnotized. <laughs> Before I give you my score, is my charm hypnotizing? Also, if you want to drop a like, that would be very helpful. Uh, Hypnotic is definitely a clunky mess, but it has some entertaining qualities. The plethora of plot twists will keep some viewers chuckling, but the overwhelming amount of exposition takes away from most of the magic. Affleck is fine, but there's way too much happening here. You know, I didn't even talk about Ben Affleck's performance, or really the performances. I was so caught up in the story. Eh, yeah, who cares? Uh, thanks for watching. See you soon.